Tea quilts and I'm here doing the April 2017 mystery block of the month in my honoring Nancy Zeman quilt this month the block is called the Ablum quilt and this is how the block looks the piecing on this is very straightforward we're going to do a lot of strip piecing so for these fence rail blocks or rail fence blocks however you want to call it that's going to be pieced strip pieced and then these little nine patch blocks in the center will also be strip piece so i have my fabrics already picked out for my nine print squares i am using this green print here let me zoom in so you can see a little better and then for my rail fence blocks i'm going to be using this darker green with the white and then for my nine patch blocks, I'm going to be using the background fabric with the medium shade of green. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip piece these sections together and then I will come back with the next step. ST, I'm going to have to break into this video because I thought I had recorded the next section of this block of the month and it is apparently missing. So I'm having to do it with the piece of paper but basically, I have strip piece these strip sets. And for the one where I'm using the dark green, you need to cut four strips from your fat quarters of the dark green and then two strips of your light. And then once this is pieced together, we're going to subcut this into three and a half inch segments. For the nine patch blocks, this is going to be our center and we have four nine patch blocks. So we need a minimum of six inches, but I like to give myself a little room for squaring up. So I cut seven and a half inch strips. So I cut two seven and a half inch medium green and then one of the background fabric. And then I cross cut that into one and a half inch segments for four of those. And then down here on the bottom, I have a two background strips that are at least 14 inches and I put two of my background strips and then one of my medium fabric and again I cross cut those into one and a half inch strip sets and then I piece these these two units together and made nine patches I used two of this one and put one of this in the middle and I pressed my seams toward the center where I have the two medium green fabric and that's important when I get to the next step so sorry about my camera not recording but I wanted to insert this into the video anyway I have all of my block pieces ready to sew together when I made my nine patches I pressed my seams toward the center so that when these nest, they are all going to nest perfectly and I don't have to worry about having seams that are going the same direction. So I will sew this block together and then we'll do a final wrap up. I'm back with my completed block. And this is again called the Ablum Quilt Block. And it is, I just really like it. And like I said, I think it will make a very nice standalone block. And again, remember these blocks are 15 inches finished and I will leave a link in the description box below. I'll leave a photo of blocks one through four at the end. See you in my next video. Bye bye.